Getting to what we were talking about in some forums about the EOD tools versus some of the other, um, there's no real restricted access on an EOD tool, uh, although a lot of people in the military call it a stat, it's kind of a status symbol item. Uh, you'll see combat engineers and EOD guys carrying these things. They are issued in some units, but extremely rare. Uh, they're issued in my old unit, but what happened was there was a particular E7 who uh, was basically stealing them and giving them to members of his family. So uh, they didn't make it to the troops. But this is the, the, the model that I think our unit had originally gotten. And basically what this spike is, this is for puncturing C4 so that you can get a blasting cap into it. Although our priming methods usually didn't involve doing that. Uh, they didn't want us breaking the packaging on them after a while. It depends on what you're going to do with this stuff. The other thing that's going to be the big difference on an EOD version of any of the Leathermans, and there's also an EOD version of the Wave that I believe they don't have on display right now. But there'll be what's called a cap crimper. Now what a cap crimper is, is it's, it's kind of like a plier thing, but when it closes, it's supposed to close to a standard size, but not cut something off. Okay, and that's just a crimp of lasting cap onto deck cord. The thing is, if you're in a unit that's using the uh, MDI, which is actually based on civilian industrial explosive stuff, they, they rarely, if ever, uh, crimp cap blasting caps anymore. A lot of times it, your, your cap on fuse comes, comes pre-packaged like that. It comes pre-packaged with a length of fuse. So these, you know, if, if you can get one like here, the Super Tool EOD is only, it, it's, it's about, uh, you know, what, 15, 20 bucks more uh, than the standard model, and, and then that's what you're getting. Now, you're not really giving, I don't think you're giving anything up except maybe one of the, blade, one of the cutting blades on that uh, to get the, 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 the puncturing thing for the C4, okay, the, the little push rod thing. And then you've got the... Uh, on the, on the mutt, there's a couple of small differences, uh, additional differences. I don't know if it's worth the extra, you know, it's probably worth the extra 10 bucks on a mutt, but it may not be worth the extra few bucks on here. The thing I'm recommending to uh, troops who are taking advice from me is go ahead and get the regular models because this can grab onto re uh, regular nuts, this cannot, okay? You see how that works? This can grab onto regular nuts like a regular pair of pliers. And again, Tim Leatherman based his original design on some Sears Craftsman pliers. Now he had modified the jaws and then gone with a more or less conventional plier jaw. Uh, so even though these have a lot of cool factor, I would say go ahead and get the standard models. Uh, the EOD models, I know they have a lot of cool factor, but you're going to be issued uh, blasting cap crimpers if you're in a unit where you're actually going to use this stuff. Uh, if you need to buy them, at the surplus store, there's something they're deep cheap, dirt cheap, you know, ten, fifteen dollars a pair for blasting cap crimpers, and you're not giving up the use of pliers, which you need to pry stuff open. See how that happens when you add the blasting cap crimper? You really lose pliers, and then all you have is a needle nose section. And on my personal Leatherman tool, I use the pliers quite a bit. In fact, I use this tool at work daily. Uh, I'm in here to get some extra bits for it, and I, I use the plier section daily on this Leatherman Wave. And again, uh, my unit had been issued a blasting cap version. And we kind of had an idea of who stole them because people's, uh, you know, the guy's kids in school were showing up with the, the one that they thought had messed up pliers. Well, that was called blasting cap rippers. So uh, there's also some other cool stuff to Leatherman charge, very similar to the Wave. Um, but again, I, I would suggest go ahead and get the standard model, not the blasting cap model, uh, when you're given a choice.